Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you some of the amazing powerful features of uh, NVIDIA NIM uh, and again, which was recently announced by NVIDIA. Uh, and if I talk about NVIDIA NIM, it is a latest breakthrough in the generative AI development. Okay, NVIDIA NIM is a set of inference microservices for deploying AI models and it revolutionizes the way how we deploy generative AI enterprises. Along with this, NVIDIA NIM offers multiple AI models, right? It can be LLM model, LIM model, multi-model. Not only that, it also provides you NVIDIA AI foundation model. Just with the help of APIs, you'll be able to integrate in your application. You'll be able to seamlessly run it and it is quite highly scalable. So in this video, I'm going to talk about this. I'm also going to show you multiple examples with the help of coding. Uh, so please make sure that you watch this video till the end because this is an amazing feature. And as I always say, there will be many, many LLM models that will be coming up, but the clear winner will be the company that provides the best inferencing thing for us, right? So let us go ahead and this is the page over here. You can see instantly run and deploy generative AI. Explore the latest community built AI models or uh, AI uh, with API optimized and accelerated by NVIDIA and then deploy any airway with NVIDIA name. Uh, you'll also be able to experience leading open source models and I will be showing more about this, you know. Uh, you can also do integration uh, just by using an API callway. Uh, along with this, you will be able to run anyway, accelerate your AI deployment with NVIDIA name. Uh, how to buy? So here it is. And the best thing is that just to for you to try it out, uh, once you probably create a page, you'll be getting 1000 credits. So which will be more than sufficient to explore and probably call multiple models to you, right? So let us go ahead and let us see. So first of all, go to this particular page and you have I will be giving you this link in the description of this particular video. Just click on try it now. And once you probably go ahead and click on try it now here, you will be able to see all the models, right? So with respect to models, you can see Llama 370B. It has almost all the open source model foundation models along with that NVIDIA AI foundation models also it has, right? Even open source model also it has. So here you'll be able to see Gamma, you'll be able to see Edify images, so multi-model, LLM model, LIM model. So here with respect to models, you can see reasoning is there. For reasoning, you can use all these models, visual design, uh, all these models are actually there. Retrieval, right? If you want to probably Im implement retrieval, it is also there. Then here you have speech, biology, gaming, multiple things are specifically over here. So uh, let me show you one example over here and then we'll also try to create an end-to-end -end application that will be a RAG application using this NVIDIA name. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's start our project. But before I go ahead, uh, let me just go ahead and show you one of the things, right? Uh, so before I start uh, any project, right, it is very much important that you also need to have an API key. Now, how to probably get an API key? Let's say that in my project, in my RAG application, I want to probably use Llama 370 billion instruct, right? And right now, since the inferencing is happening in the NVIDIA NIM itself, so if you go ahead and click this particular model, here you'll be able to see something like this, right? Here you'll be able to chat. So let's say if I say hi, and if I send a message, you'll be able to see that I'll be able to get a response. Uh, how are you? Okay, any question that you want over here, how are you? So here you can see this is the code, right? And when I'm writing, how are you? So this is the code that is basically getting set with respect to the content. So you can use this particular code and you can also call it, right? And I'll also be showing you. So once I probably send, how are you? You'll be able to get uh, the response over here. Now, when you go to this, uh, build.nvidia.com first of all you need to log in right so here you can see i have logged in over here if you have not uh, if you don't have an account i would suggest please go ahead and uh, create an account and here you can see i have 954 credits left initially you'll be getting thousand when you are probably creating a new account okay now uh, this is the thing here you can actually see right uh, the entire uh, code is also visible, right? So I will show you how you can run this particular code. And again, over here, you can see that there is an API key that is required. In order to generate the API key, all you have to do is that click on get API key over here, right? So here you'll be able to see uh, get API key in this green color and just click on this. This key authenticates your NVIDIA AI foundation endpoint for test and evaluation and just go ahead and generate the key. Now I will be making sure that I copy this particular key because I'm going to use this particular key for my coding purpose, okay? Now let's go ahead and first of all, let's go ahead and open my VS code and I will show you how we can go ahead and create this entire project. Uh, that code that you'll be able to see over there, right? This code also will try to run it, okay? So let's go ahead, step by step, let's go ahead and do this. So first of all, uh, let me go ahead and create my environment. So here I'm going to use Conda. So Conda create minus P, VNV, Python, 
double equal to 3.10 i'll just use 3.10 and let us go ahead and create this environment okay now over here you definitely require multiple uh, multiple uh, requirements um, in multiple packages in the requirement.txt so we will also go ahead and update that okay so first of all uh, let me just go ahead and yes one more thing that i'm going to show you the rag application that we are going to create We'll do it with the help of Lang Langchain also. So Langchain also has an integration for that. So first of all, let me just quickly go ahead and write requirements.txt. Okay, so let me go ahead and create my file requirements.txt. So first of all, what all packages I specifically require? I'll be using OpenAI because in this particular code that I see, right, there was uh, OpenAI over here. So let me just first of all copy this. Okay, I will be requiring this key so i've copied it in my note back notebook so this is my entire code over here so let me just copy this entire code okay copy the code and paste it over here so let me just go ahead and create my app.py file and let me paste it over here okay and we'll go step by step we'll understand what exactly this is okay so first of all in the requirement.txt i am going to use openai along with this uh, you'll also be seeing that uh, i will be using python dot env the reason why i'm importing this because in the in my env file i will be creating that api key so i will be requiring that okay uh this is the next thing and along with this uh, right now i'll just keep this two packages over here just to run that code now uh, let me go ahead and write pip install minus r requirement.txt before that let me activate my vnv environment so conda activate vnv okay so this is the activate environment that i will specifically be using now uh, what i'm actually going to do just go ahead and write pip install pip install minus r requirement.txt okay so the installation will specifically happen over here uh, all the installation will happen and here you'll be able to see that once the installation is taken place i will go ahead and run this particular code because here i just require open ai now let's understand this particular code and uh, what all things are there in this code so first of all i am importing from open ai import open ai and then we are creating a client with respect to open ai the base, base URL over here will be this integrate.api.nvdi.com slash v1, which is given from the code. This is my API key. Okay. Please make sure that you don't have this publicly visible API key. Instead, what you can do, you can, as you know that I have already imported python.env. So you can directly create an environment variable and use this. Okay. So I will do that. Uh, first of all, I'll create an environment variable over here. And let me do that first step uh, so that I can actually use it when I'm creating my end-to-end -end project so this is my dot env uh, this is my environment variable that i'm going to create right nvidia underscore api underscore key and this is my api key okay and i can call this api key wherever i want uh, by using uh, this python dot env file okay that i'll show you once i probably create a rack project now once i probably create this particular client then uh, we have to use client dot chat completion dot create here we are giving the model name again it has been given the entire code is given over here see I did not write it any like NVIDIA name is already providing this and just imagine just using this and directly executing it. It's quite amazing. Then messages role is equal to user content. How are you? Okay. So I'm, I've written this particular message or uh, let me just go ahead and write uh, provide me a paragraph provide me a provide me an essay. Okay. On machine learning. Okay. Okay. Provide me an article on machine learning. Okay. Something like this okay so then we are setting up the temperature value top underscore p will be one max tokens uh, 1024 and stream is equal to true when we are keeping stream is equal to true that basically means this entire completion will we will be able to uh, see in the form of uh, streams and this is basically there in open ai right then from chunk in completion we are executing this particular code now let me just go ahead and run this and let's see whether we will be able to get the output or not so here i'm going to just write python app.py and uh, here uh, see machine learning all the answers is coming over here it is streaming it is giving you the entire output this is perfect you are able to get the output so that basically means you're just able to execute it and how quick it is NVIDIA NIM, trust me, the inferencing is very, very fast. And that is what it is going to basically bring up a breakthrough, an amazing revolution, right? Uh, in the entire process of generative AI development. And at the end of the day, company really needs to think about inferencing. And if I talk about NVIDIA, it is a king of GPUs, right? So the inferencing needs to be obviously very, very good. Okay, so this was it. Uh, now here, uh, 
this uh, simple thing we have actually done. Now let us go ahead and do some amazing end-to-end -end project. And this time I'm actually going to show you a project which is basically a kind of rack project and how you can use along with uh, Langchain. Uh, that also I'll probably show you. So first of all, I will go ahead and uh, update my requirement.txt. So here I'm going to use Langchain NVIDIA underscore AI underscore endpoints. This will be the Langchain integration, which will actually help you to call all the NVIDIA uh, models that it has in NIMP. Then you will be also importing Langchain underscore community, uh, five CPU. Along with this, since I'm going to create a streamlit app, I'm going to use this. And one more thing that I'm going to use is PyPDF. Okay, so all this uh requirements i'm actually going to use it now let me just open the terminal again with respect to this i'm going to go ahead and write pip install minus r requirement.txt okay so the installation will take place uh it is going to take again some time with respect to this let me close this uh folders are visible over here okay so once this is done i will go ahead and start my development okay so here uh let me go ahead and write final app.py okay now final app.py uh, this is where i am going to specifically write all my code uh, and uh, we'll be seeing what all things we are going to use okay now as you know uh, whenever we are creating a rag application we will be using some kind of things right let's say pdf or something as such so uh, i have some of the pdfs over here okay so this four pdfs i have over here i will copy this okay and let me open this particular folder. So we are going to read all the PDFs from here, from this US census. Uh, census. So all the PDFs is over here. We'll read this and we'll try to create a RAG application wherein we will be asking any questions related to this. Here we are also going to perform embedding, okay? Now when I say we are going to perform embedding, so we will be using NVIDIA embeddings, okay? And that is what we are, I'm going to show you also. So quickly, uh, let's go ahead and import uh, Streamlit. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to import Streamlit as ST. Then uh, I'm going to import OS, okay? Okay, then from Langchain NVIDIA, I'm going to import uh, embeddings and chat NVIDIA. So this is the library that I'm going to import over here. So this NVIDIA embedding will be again used with the help of APIs and chat NVIDIA to call any models that are available in NVIDIA NIM. Okay. And this is the library that is used in integration with Langchain. Then uh, you have this web-based loader. So since uh, uh, I, okay, I need to probably read for my directory. So for that, I will be using from Langchain underscore community dot document loaders. Since I'm also going to use output parser, create stuff document chain and recursive character text splitter. So I am also going to use this. So these are some of the libraries that I'm actually going to use for my entire course uh, uh, project, right? Where we'll be using this. So here you can see the entire uh, installation has also been done. Now let me quickly go ahead and write from dot env import load underscore dot env. So then we are going to initialize load underscore dot env so that we'll be able to call all my environment variables. Now uh, load uh, the API or NVIDIA API key because we need to load it. So for that, I will go ahead and write OS dot environment environ. Okay. And this will be nothing but NVIDIA underscore API key. And this is what I have actually created in my env file, right? So here you go and then just go ahead and write os.getenv and here we are going to use nvidia api key okay so my environment variable is ready uh, now the next step or what we are basically going to do is that we are going to call our llm model so let me just go ahead and write my llm model and this time i'm going to use chat nvidia right so chat nvidia and as you all know i'm going to use which model so chat nvidia is there i guess so chat nvidia okay chat nvidia and i'm going to use my model name uh, the same model name that i've actually called that is nothing but meta llama 3 70 billion parameter okay so this basically becomes my llm model now once this llm model is loaded since i have to read from this particular uh, folder all the pdfs so let me just go ahead and create my one function which is called as vector embedding because i have to create vectors for all this PDF file, right? Uh, here I'm going to specifically use sessions, okay? So that I'll be able to access it here and there. So here, uh, let me go ahead and write for if vectors, 
f vectors i will create a session which is called as vectors not in st dot session underscore state okay and this uh, i will create another line now i will go ahead and write st dot session session underscore state okay dot embedding so first of all i'm going to create my embeddings and i'm going to initialize to nvidia embedding okay so this is the embedding that we are going to use in order to convert the document into vectors or the text into vectors okay so this is the first thing so here you have st also everything looks fine then uh, i'm going to probably also create st dot session underscore state okay dot loader okay and this time i'm going to use my pi pdf let's see pi pdf directory loader and i will be giving my folder location that is us census okay so let me quickly copy this over here so this is my uh, another library that i have to use it okay so let's see uh, till here if everything is working fine or not i will just go ahead and open my terminal and let's see if i'm getting any error okay streamlet run final app dot py okay so once this is running i think it should be running and i i don't think so any problem should be there okay so this looks fine yeah it is giving me a blank page uh now it looks fine everything is fine let me quickly go ahead and close this okay uh, perfect so us census i'm actually keeping the up in this so basically this pi pdf directory loader is going to read this entire pdf files inside this us census then now uh, what i'm actually going to do is that uh after reading from this particular loader right variable i'm going to basically write st dot session underscore state session underscore state dot docs okay and here uh, we are going to specifically use st underscore session underscore state loader dot loader so what loader or loader will specifically give me all the documents over here and uh, along with this i i'm going to probably do the character text splitting uh, because i need to probably do the splitting itself after this so once i get my documents so then what we are going to basically do is that we are going to write st dot session underscore state dot text underscore splitter recursive character text splitter chunk size i'm going to take it as 700 chunk overlap i'm going to take it as 50 and here you'll be able to see final document is there uh, with split documents st dot docs and i've taken the top 30 docs okay so we are splitting this particular documents with respect to this so guys step by step you have seen this first of all we created our embedding then we read the entire directory all the pdfs we had it in the loader this loader dot load uh, load will basically give you the entire documents and then we are taking this particular documents and applying a rec recursive character text splitter where the entire documents will be divided into chunks okay uh, here the chunk size is basically taken as 700 with overlap of 50 and finally we get our final document by using the split documents uh, and I'm going to take the top 30 records okay so once I probably get the final documents uh, at the end of the day I need to convert this into vectors so I'm going to basically write st underscore session state okay dot vectors uh, and here I'm going to use fires again wait dot vectors is equal to yeah uh, we are going to use fires from documents st dot session final underscore document and st dot session state embeddings so here we have also created our embeddings and the same embeddings will be used over here and finally this vector will be nothing but it will be our uh, vector database in short the files vector database okay so this entirely this function what it is going to do is that it is going to read all the pdfs from that folder it will divide all the documents into chunks and then finally it will convert into a vector and store it in a vector database so that is what this entire function is basically going to do now uh, it's time uh, we go ahead and probably write st dot title and here i'm going to basically use nvidia nim demo okay uh, once i probably use this uh, as you know that i'm going to probably create my chat prompt template so let me go ahead and define it uh, chat prompt template i have already imported it over here okay so this chat prompt template as i said it is a kind of a rag application so i'll say answer the question based on the provided context only please provide the most accurate response based on the question so here is my context here is my question okay once i probably have this uh, now 
I'll go ahead and create my entire a uh, single text prompt, uh, text input. I'll say enter your question from the documents. Whatever question you have from the documents, you are going to probably ask it over here. Now I will also create a button. So I'm going to write from st dot button. Okay. If st dot button. And here, let's say I'm saying document embedding. If this is clicked, right? If this is clicked, I will specifically call my vector embedding function. Okay. And once I have my vector embedding function, I will go ahead and update this. And I'll say, hey, my vector store DB is ready. Okay. And this time the vector store that we are using is uh, FIS, right? FIS vector store DB is ready. And by using which embedding technique is ready using NVIDIA embeddings, right? So this embeddings we have specifically used over here, right? So what happens is that as soon as I probably click this button, it is going to call this entire vector embedding and it is going to make sure that you have this vector store DB ready. Okay. And then finally, I will go ahead and uh, so once this is done, I will go ahead and write if prompt one, if the prompt one is there, if I am probably searching for anything and if I press enter, okay, then the next thing that I'm actually going to do is that create my document chain. And for this, I'm going to use my create stuff document chain here. I have to give my LLM comma prompt, right? So this we have already seen in our line chain playlist itself, right? So here you have this and then finally you will be able to see retriever is equal to st dot session underscore state dot vectors as retriever. So this vectors DB, when we use with as retrievers, this basically becomes an interface to retrieve all the data from here, right? So this basically becomes my retriever. And since this vector is basically stored in the session state, we are going to basically use this session state itself. Then after taking this entire retriever, uh, what we are basically going to do, we are going to create our retrieval chain. Okay. And here we are going to use, uh, okay create retrieval chain and here we are going to use my retriever comma document chain okay so this two things i'm going to basically use it and close it over here since already my llm is basically called now this create retrieval chain will basically create my retrieval underscore chain which i'm going to use it over here but at the end of the day this model that is basically getting called it is from nim right so nvidia name nvidia nim inferencing right inferencing perfect so here it is uh, and uh, after you get this retrieval chain all i have to probably do is that i will start the time okay so import time let's go ahead and import time over here because i'm going to use the time functionality so that I will be also able to measure and see how fast this is start time. Uh, then we are invoking based on the prompt that we have and we finally get the response and we are writing the entire response. Okay. Now, uh, along with this, uh, this meta uh, open source model, right? Like Lama three also provides you some context information. So below by using again streamlet, we will try to display the entire We'll try to display the entire uh, context also. So here I'm going to write from with xt dot extender document similarity search. And here we are going to basically display the context. Now let's go ahead and run this. And I think it should probably work. And we are going to basically use the chat in media itself. Now let's quickly open the terminal. So guys, now let's go ahead and run this code and see that whether everything is working fine. So here I'm going to basically write Python final app dot py. Oh, sorry. I have to basically run with streamlet. So streamlet run of uh, final app dot py. Okay. Anyhow, I'll be giving you the entire code in the description of this particular video. Go ahead and check it out and definitely go ahead and use NVIDIA name. Now, the first thing over here is that I'll go ahead and click on document embedding. So as soon as I probably click this, what it is going to do from that entire folder, it is going to take out all the documents, convert that into vectors, store it in the vector database. There we have used NVIDIA embeddings. So we will just wait till the vector DB is ready. And then we will go ahead and ask any question that we want, like a RAG application. So still it is taking time. There are many files, four to five files. So obviously there are a lot of documents. And again, it is basically happening it completely with the NVIDIA name inferencing. 
so let's wait for some time so here you can see the vector store db is ready let me quickly go over here and see whether i'll be able to see my vector db okay so now the next thing what i'm actually going to do over here is that go ahead and ask any question that i want right so now over here i'm going to basically say differences in let's let's go ahead and ask this question what is the differences in the uninsured rate by state in 2022 so here i'm going to put this question what is the differences in the uninsured rate by state in 2022 so it obviously needs to pick up all this information and probably give you us an answer so here according to the context the difference in the uninsured state are so here you can see a low of 2.4 percent and 16.6 percent compared to the national 8.0 uh, percent and from the help of document similarity search you can see what all context it is basically taken and has given you the results and this entire thing is basically happening with nvidia nim right all the models that are probably there from nvidia embeddings to open source model and here we have specifically using llama 3 itself so go ahead and check it out and definitely uh, just go ahead and explore more models that you want uh, based on different different use cases like reasoning you have something different visual design you have something different retrieval speech if you have if you want to probably check it out you can go ahead and check it out and here you also have a lot of open source models uh, foundation models so it is up to you go ahead and explore this so i feel uh, nvidia nim nvidia has done an amazing work and definitely this solves a lot of problems. So yes, this was it for my side. I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. And all the information regarding this will be given in the description of this particular video. So thank you. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.